Hey friends, and welcome to Quiet Time Crafts. My name is Morgan, and thank you so much for joining me today for another fun craft. I am really excited to share this one with you guys. Today we will be making a paper lantern. I think that this is a great craft for families to make together. And when we're finished, it's gonna look something like this. So for this craft, you're gonna need the following supplies. Three battery powered candles, colored paper, pen or pencil, scissors, and glue. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so to get this craft started, you're going to take your colored paper. So I'm gonna be using two colors. So I chose yellow and black. So I'm gonna be using the yellow first. So this is gonna be the inside of my lantern. And I'm going to take my pen and I'm gonna draw shapes that uh, I will cut out. So for my lantern, I'm gonna be drawing stars. So um, I'm gonna draw my stars real quick and then I'm going to cut them out and then we'll go into that next step. Okay, so now for cutting this out, just so to make it easier when you have shapes like this because we want to keep it as like a just a void in the paper you'll barely bend your paper like this take your scissors and then make a little cut and then your scissors are able to fit inside of what you're um, wanting to cut out so that's just a little tip on um, how to do this so I'm gonna finish cutting out my stars and then we'll move on to that next step. So I have my stars cut out, so you'll see all the different voids. So now what we're going to do is you're going to flip it over to the other side where your um, pen or pencil can't show and we're going to kind of fold it up and just see what it looks like and if we need to shave off any pieces. So I'm going to actually cut a little piece of mine off. Take this much off. You can always sm start small and then add more if you want. Okay, so I'm happy with this right here. So I'm gonna add my glue and then we'll move on to adding the exterior of the lantern. Okay. So I added my glue on there. So now I have my cylinder. Okay. You can see the stars all the way around. So now you're going to take your other color. So like I mentioned, mine's black. And you're going to fold your paper. So it's going to be one hamburger style. You're just going to keep folding over and over until you get about one inches or less. Okay, so when you're finished, it should look like this, like an accordion. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut out all these strips. Okay, 
So I have all of my paper cut out into little strips. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your um, black strips and then look at your lantern and you'll notice that if you don't cut off any of the length down here, that it won't uh, make the lantern effect. So that was why when I drew uh, my shapes, I kind of left some extra space down here. So just wanted to, for y'all to see that before I had to cut out. So I'm gonna take my scissors again and I'm just going to kind of pinch it and then cut out the bottom piece just so it's like that. And then now I can play around with it and see if this is a height that I like. So you'll see just even cutting off that small amount that my um, paper is bulging. So that's what the effect that you want. So if you're happy with that, then um, now we'll take the glue and you're going to put glue on the top piece of your black piece of paper in the bottom. And you're going to place it at the top of your lantern and then at the bottom. So you just push it up like that so you know that it lines up. All right, so see how simple that was? So now I'm going to glue all of these on here. And while you're gluing, if you don't have enough strips of paper, you can always just cut and add more. So here we go. Okay, so you'll see it gives it um, a lantern effect. So now what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna take your lantern and then figure out which side you want to be the um, bottom versus the top. So let's see, I think I'm gonna have mine like this. All right, so the next step is you're going to take your exterior color sheet of paper and we're going to make the, the cap for the lantern. So this is why it's important to figure out which side you're wanting to use as the top and as the bottom. So this is gonna be my top, so I'm gonna flip it upside down. All right, I'm just gonna do a rough outline of the um, circle. So I'm gonna finish this up real fast and then um, I'll show you how I cut it out. I'll be adding tabs on here. Um, that way it makes it easier for install. So here we go. So I have my lid cut out and um, the times that I've done this, they don't always come out to be a perfect um, circle, just depending on the shape of your cylinder. So that's what happened this time. So we'll see if it works. Um, so what you'll do is I added on these tabs. So you're going to fold all the tabs. So I'm gonna finish that up real fast. Okay, you have this shape. So I'm going to take that top side that I had 
to me and see if it fits. And it does. All right. So now what you're going to do is take one of your extra strips of paper if you had any. If not, you'll need to cut out a new one. And you're going to glue it all the way around. So I'm going to do that real fast. So I have my lid, so now I'm going to make it fit, so you kind of have to push on them sometimes to make it fit, and put your fingers up in there, like this, okay, so there's my lantern lid, just like that. Make sure you get it on there tight and snug, All right? Then what you'll do is you're gonna take your extra paper for the exterior color, and you're going to just cut out another strip, just like that. All right, so this is gonna be our handle. So I'm going to glue it on just like this. So let me do that real fast. steps will be you're going to need a couple more strips of the black paper because we're going to line up, up along the the bottom of the lantern just to hide up our um, seams from these um, strips right here. So I'm going to cut up some more pieces real quick and glue those on. So it hides all our seams. So now the last step is you're going to take your candles, your turn them on. We'll see how many actually fit underneath here. There we go. So all three fit. And so whenever you have the lights off, it um, lights up the whole lantern and gives off a real effect. So it's a really cool craft. Well, that's all the crafting fun we had today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you next week.